Australian households generate at least one-fifth of our greenhouse gases. This is your carbon footprint here. So does anyone have a guess as to how much of the year this represents? A month? A week? Two hours. Oh. In two months' time, we're going to see the changes you've made and see the effect it has and see if we can bring this house down. Who's ready for a climate challenge? Yeah! This thermal imaging camera will help us see where the hot and cold spots are. I don't think there's much insulation in this house. I don't think there's any. Popping this foam inside the unused fireplace will help stop the draft. And sealing the doors and vents is also a good idea. I think you're going to be surprised how much your mm. footprint drops. Mm. So make you feel good? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Can an electric car in the mix help them put an even bigger dent in their transport emissions? So this is electric? Fully electric. You've got all this solar there. I thought we might as well use it for something good. You're going to be my guinea pigs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm at Sydney's Eastern Creek Raceway. I've picked the fastest and most powerful production car ever made in Australia, and I'm putting it up against the newest generation of electric vehicles. Which one is fastest? At a drag race. <laughs> the emissions that come from producing the food we eat are less talked about. Around a quarter of the world's greenhouse gas emissions come from food. There is one household with the highest food emissions of the group. Hello. And I want to see if I can sway them to make some changes and get those emissions down. By just swapping out a couple of red meat meals a week to plant-based options, the boys could make a significant reduction in their food emissions. There is no planet B. That's why together we have to fight to save planet A.